Welcome everyone and I hope you've all been well. In this video I will be reviewing the Huion Canvas 13 display tablet. Big shout out to Huion for sending this through and for sponsoring. Make sure to check out my Instagram for all the latest updates on my work and what I get up to basically. So this video will cover what's in the box, uh, my experience with this tablet and I will finish up with a time lapse of the artwork I created using this tablet. So let's first uh, have a look at what's inside the box. So first off, starting from the bottom, we have the tablet stand on the left and the tablet itself on the right. On the top right, next to the box, we have a nice drawing glove, the circular pen stand and the drawing pen itself underneath it. Uh, we also have a 3-in-1 Type-C cord that you will need to connect into your computer or device as this is not a standalone tablet. And basically the computer is going to be the tablet's power source. We have the tablet here, um, all sitting nicely on the stand. The tablet feels good. Uh, it's got a really nice design to it, so I really like that about it. Let me show you how the stand works. Um, so compared to my other stand on my older Wacom tablet, this is a really nice stand with multiple adjustment options to help you set up to fit your way of drawing. As you can see here, we have two flaps for you to mess around with to kind of fit your um, adjustments. It's really easy to use, simple, uh, which is really good. And normally I wouldn't have my stand up this high, but just for the sake of this video. So we have the flaps up out front here. Uh, that's pretty much where your tablet is going to sit on. Uh, and when you put it away, you can just kind of flick it back up, which is really nice and clean. So that's basically the stand in a nutshell. Uh, it's very nice, very clean and very easy to use, which I think is great. Next up, we have the drawing pen or the stylus. A very nice design, very nice weight. It's got two buttons for you to kind of adjust with. Uh, you can treat it as your left and right mouse click basically. Then we have the pen stand. Um, you look at it, it's nothing special, just a stand, you put your pen in it. But what's inside it, you give it a twist and that's basically where it holds all your extra nibs. And this will last you a very, very long time. Because the last time I changed my um, pen nib on my older tablet, um, I didn't change it for, until after about three or four years. But I guess that all um, depends on how hard you draw on the tablet, I guess. Next up, we have those fancy drawing gloves. Uh, this is the first time of me actually wearing any. Uh, on my previous tablet, it didn't come with one. So this was a very nice addition. This glove has qualities of a microfiber cloth. So when you're drawing on it, you get a really nice, smooth transition across the tablet. Um, and you won't be creating any smudges neither. Moving along, we're going to have a look at the ports um, on the tablet itself and the connectivity of it. So as you can see here on the side, you have two Type-C ports and one you'll be needing to connect your three-in-one cable into your computer as that will be its main power source. As for the second Type-C port, you can kind of use it as like a USB extender um, to charge your phone, whatever. So let's turn this on, easy basically turns on straight away and I've, I've already configured and set up the drivers uh, you can go onto the website to download these they're really easy to set up and once you've downloaded it you can access the Huion on main tablet software and you can from there change all your um, short keys on your pen and your tablet as you can see here I'm just testing and playing around with the pen pressure uh, it feels really good the texture on the tablet is really nice as well so that's a plus there also doesn't seem to be any sort of lag um, in between it, which is one of the most important things about these tablets. Um, responsiveness is really good. And yeah, basically get a really nice thick to thin variation depending on the pen pressure you apply on it. When creating the artwork, I've had literally no issues when creating. It's been really good. It's been super smooth. Everything's been responding really nicely. Um, see, have you got the short keys there that I've adjusted? You can adjust like the, any of the buttons to be your zoom in, zoom out. It's really good. So you've got a lot of buttons to play around with. And when comparing this tablet with my um, old Wacom Cintiq 13 HD display, uh, it essentially does everything 
that my previous tablet does as well. What I do like about this tablet, however, is the power source is part of the 3-in-1 cable um, that connects straight into your computer, um, and then it's basically good to go. So all in all, I think this tablet is definitely well worth the investment, especially if this is uh, your you know looking into getting your first display tablet coming from a normal drawing tablet uh, i mean the price is always going to cost a little bit more than some of the drawing tablets but this one is definitely on the much cheaper range and it actually does a really really good job thank you for watching and i hope you found this video very insightful and helps you to decide on which tablet you may be looking into getting make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more art videos time lapses and potentially more reviews in the future once again, big thanks to Huion for sending through the goods and helping me to make this video. You can find the product link to this tablet on the description below. For the remainder of this video, I will be playing a sped up time lapse of the artwork I created um, using this tablet, so hope you enjoy that. You can also support me on Patreon and receive tutorials, open layered Photoshop files of my artwork, my Photoshop brushes, and high quality wallpapers. The link is also in the descriptions below.